Good evening, everyone, and welcome to your weekly group by news. Let's see who is online tonight. I see a cajoler, homie zone, bacon and tuna, sumex, lunchbox, croissant, anonym, apple boblin, Dr. Killswitch, and striking. Thanks, guys, for joining in. Let's see what what is Merlin drinking tonight. Something a little different because it's starting to get really cold here in Seattle. So instead of my regular iced beverage, I figured I'd drink something hot here. Here we go. Let's see a couple more people chiming in. Aesthetic, Mo AK, Barugi, Clyback, Switch Doctor. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Evan, for joining in. You know, tonight we are drinking, you know, one of those packet based milk tea powdery things. And just mix it with some hot water and you get something. Almost close to the to the real thing here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely a little colder tonight than most nights. Let's see, the board you guys are seeing in front of me today is a customer Cyber Voyager Round Two with tangerine switches and a hodgepodge of a GMK Carbon key set right here. <laughs> let's see. Let's turn on some music. Hmm. <laughs> Tonight's. Let's see. How's our list looking tonight? Not too much, though it's definitely heavier on the ending side than on, than on the starting. Here we go. Let's go with this playlist right here. Type test requirement. Yeah, you guys will see, well, you know, if you guys look through my VOD, you'll see the typing test for this. And I believe the actual video, the edited video will be showing up tomorrow as well on YouTube. Strike in some Spokane, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. I mean, yeah, I literally just poured the hot water in, so it's a little too hot to drink. <laughs> but but it feels good, it feels good. Like today, um Yeah, I, I, I have curtains to the left of me here, and they're a little bit too long and right next to my heater so I'm a little bit concerned about turning on like the heater in this room so I might have to buy buy newer curtains here but we'll see we'll see <laughs> for all of you joining in for the first time this particular stream this stream that happens every Sunday evening 7 30 p.m. PST is all about group buys and I try to limit all the group buys within the following week and by week I define it as the seven day time period starting tonight. So in our case, that is December 13th, Sunday evening to Saturday, December 19th. You know, so everything that's starting and ending this week, I try to cover. But because our community is so large and there's like a million group buys every day, it's hard to keep track of everything. So I do ending group buys, starting group buys, and at the very end, I'm like, all right guys, did I miss anything? So yeah, without further ado, let's start with ending group buys. I'll be posting all links in chat so you guys can follow along. Let's see, let's start off with the group buys that are ending today. Here we go. First one up is a key set all the way on Dixie Mac. Here we go. This one is GMK Think Caps. If you guys follow along on my five interest checked videos, I actually talked about this as something that I found really, really interesting because it kind of reminded me of laptops that I used back in my heyday here. But yeah, as you guys can guess, this is inspired by ThinkPads, Lenovo ThinkPads and all that. For 110 bucks, you can get a base kit that looks like this. Yeah, like you don't come up with a numpad, but you've got you've got most standard layer most standard layouts up to a TKL, as you guys can see. Of course, if you want more, you can buy the orthos for 120, the numpad for 40, extension for 35, icon mods for 35, RGB mods for 38, novelties for 35, space bars for 28 and Accents 23, Nord UK, 68 bucks. All of this, you guys only have like a few hours left of this. It's currently 7.36 p.m. PST, and this expires at, at midnight. 
There we go. Approximate shipping time is around Q3 of 2021, as this is a GMK set. Everyone's backed up at this point, though I do hear GMK is getting a few machines to help with their backlog. Well, we'll see if this if this date here improves or not, but Q3 2021 is I really hate to say it, but this is this is sounding normal. <laughs> Yeah, of course, if you're not here in the US, you've got a bunch of other vendors as well, including Island KB, Z Frontier, Desk Hero, Candy Keys, and Daily Clack. And yeah, it also comes with, or it does not come with, but it has the option. You have an option to purchase either row one or row four Rama keycaps. Look at that. Um, if you're wondering what the dot means, that's, I believe it's the, ThinkPad mouse cursor thing. That's what I think it's it's supposed to represent. Oh, interesting. I just realized this on, on the Dixie Mac site. Pay in full or in four interest-free installments for orders. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. If you guys really want a key set, I guess there are or a key set or even a keyboard. In some cases, there are financing options. <laughs> Though I would personally, I would never go into debt to, to like buy a key set or, or, or a keyboard. But you know, if that's, if that's something that you absolutely really want, then, then, then by all means. <laughs> but yeah, once again, here we go. Pasting a link in. Let's see, Apple Bobbin says, I don't stay in a place over a year. Can never order those. Oh no. Yeah, I guess if you had like a P.O. box or something, then you could order it. Or if you knew someone in the area who's generally in an area for like a year, then you could have it shipped there. Kariette says, is there going to be a Feed Cats channel points rewards like Teha? Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't really want to do that, but, <laughs> you know. We'll see. It's, it's 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 not really something that I want to do. <laughs> it's it's just my cat. You know, she will show up on stream whenever she's feeling okay. <laughs> Let's see. Next up on our list. Next up on our list is GMK Amethyst. This one we actually talked about two weeks ago, but I found out recently that it was bumped bumped later. Here we go. This one is GMK Amethyst all the way on Kono. Instead of expiring two weeks ago, it's actually expiring today. So here we go. Look, group buy which launched November 11th and is closing December 13th. This is another key set that I talked about in my interest checks video as something I found very, very interesting. Check it out. Let's see, base goes for about 140. The dark base, which is the one that I prefer, I think. Actually, I I forgot what I said during my interest checks videos, but both of them both of them look pretty good. But dark base is definitely a little bit more expensive. Of course, you've got novelties for 65, extensions for 70, space bars for 30, and a desk mat for 17 dollars. And let's see, I'm expecting this to be a 2021 delivery as well. Your estimated production time from GMK is 36 weeks after close. Okay. Yeah, that's about Q3 2021, right? Right here, let's go look at a couple more of the renders here. See, that's your, that's your base kit. That's the dark base kit. Let's see, any keyboards? Yep, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I think this is a board that looks better on lighter colored keyboards. Like, I feel like even the dark base kit doesn't look all that good on a black keyboard. But that could just be me. Hmm. Yeah, I think in this case, I like the white one a lot better. Let's see. Okay, it's got all of them labeled. That's good, that's good. 
cool, cool, cool. All right, if this is a set that you guys are interested in, it's another, it's another group buy that's like ending today. Droska says, would the light base set look good on an NK75 EE purple? Um, I'm probably the worst person to ask that because I'm somewhat colorblind to purple, but I, 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 based on my experience, um, key set, like key, key sets and keyboards that are the same color tend to match well, so I would assume yes. <laughs> If anyone else can comment, that would be great. Yeah, if you guys want the set, you've got a couple hours left to, to join this group by. Let's see, next up. Next up, we're going all the way to Novel Keys. Here we go, this is GMK Yuri Round 2. Here we go. This is a set that I liked a lot. I liked so much actually, that I felt re very regretful not joining in on like round one. But this time, like I've been staring at this for like the last couple of weeks and I'm like, should I join round two? Should I not? Not so sure, not so sure. And you know, since this is expiring, this is expiring tomorrow, de December 14th, I still haven't reached a conclusion whether or not I want to join this. So usually if I have to wait that long, if it takes me that long to like decide, the answer is probably going to be a no. But here we go. Let's take a look at a couple more of these vendors. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, the, the difference with round two and round one is this. See, so round one was, us was, was actually just this base kit. But with round two, which is this round, there's a new base kit called Sky Data, which is basically just the alpha colored, oh, it, it, it just takes this, this light bluish thing and spreads it to the mods and the alphas. Pawarch says, I heard Yuri wasn't doing that well. Really? Interesting. I can't remember if it did well the first time around or not. Swarley says Serica is greater than Yuri. I would agree with that actually. Croissant redeemed hydrate. Thank you. And Flex Logitech has subscribed. Thank you so much. Let's see. Apple Boblin says I'm new to keyboards. What's cool about GMK? Um, they are a. Let's see. They are located in Germany. They. They use ABS caps, but their manufacturing procedure makes it so that their double shot process results in some of the sharpest legends that you'll see on any keyboard. And a lot of people say that the way that they feel, feel very good, but it's, it's really just preference, you know? Like the feel is preference, but definitely the quality and consistency of the legends is a hard fact. So yeah, you've got 40s for, for 50, Icon Mods for 42, Cyrillix for 60, Extra for 42, Novelties for 32, Cherry Picker for 32, and Space Bars also for 30. So yeah, let's see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm just saving all my money for like Serica. I, I already have a Serica kit, but for some reason I just want more of it. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think the base kit looks better or, or the Sky Data base kit? Which one do you guys think looks better? To me, I think the original still looks better. Joseph Joseph Rojas says, how much is base? Um, it's 120 for the original, 130 for the, for the Sky Data. Let's see, couple, most people are saying base looks better. Base, definitely base, 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 Sky, base, 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 base standard base. Interesting. 
I can't remember if he mentioned it in the Geek Hack thread, but I, I forgot his reasoning for making a second base kit. But oh well. The strike it says Sky Data is too bland. I would agree with you on that. I, I actually would agree with that. Regular base kit still looks so much better. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, if you guys want to join in on this, you've got till tomorrow to do it. All right, another kit that is ending tomorrow is all the way on drop. Here we go. This is GMK Pixel. You, for, for the base kit, it's 120 bucks. For the decorations kit, it's 35. And for the space kit, it's 28. So here, let's take a look at some of these. Um, there are also desk mats, corresponding desk mats. And the last time I looked at this, I was, I was quite rudely awakened by one of the desk mat colors, which we, which, which we will see again. But here, let's see if I can get a start on, of the carousel. Oh, here we go. Here we go. GMK Pixel. Look at that. This is like, I, honestly, this is not, this is not something that I would buy. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of legendless key sets, and I'm also not a big fan of key sets where there's only one legend. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. Yeah, I, I I guess I just don't get the aesthetic appeal for this. Like this one I do. Th this one looks good, but the same legend everywhere, I've just never understood that. Kevin Lau says, are you not a fan because you can't touch type? Um, I can definitely touch type but it's just that it doesn't look pretty. You know, like if I'm spending 130 bucks, <laughs> you know? Joseph Ross says, PPT Triangle is a rip off of this. Sure, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Dragon said, it would be so awesome if it just had white legends or nothing. King Friday executed the uptime command. I've only been up for the last 20 minutes or so, man. A better player says he hit 162 perfect yesterday, not to brag. Oh, you're talking about my build stream for like this guy right here. Yeah, I actually have that screenshot saved somewhere. <laughs> the good buy says would much rather have dots. I would agree with that. See, Tofree Redeemed Hydrate, thank you. Here we go, these are the space bars. And okay, here we go. We're getting closer to that dust mat, which was crazy bright. Go. This black one looks fine. The cyan one looks fine, but the yellow, the yellow one is gonna be crazy. Ah! <laughs> this is so bright. <laughs> So bright, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, this one's better. This one's better. <laughs> yeah, but that yellow, that yellow one is crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are like seeing the same thing as me, but yeah, look at that. that that's like, oh. <laughs> Hopefully in like real life, when the dust mat comes to you, it's not gonna be this, this gaudy. <laughs> yeah, this is a group buy that's ending. When did I say it was? Tomorrow, December 14th. So yeah, definitely check that out if you guys are are interested. Let's see, next one. Next key set that expiring is also on drop. In fact, I feel, like, I feel like the next key sets that I'll be talking about are all on drop. Here we go. Next one is MDA Ember. Actually, this one, this, this one's not on drop. The next ones will be. Here we go. This is MDA profiled Dawn, Dawn Ember. This is a PBT high profile key set. Here, let's take a look at some of the renders here. Pretty cool. It's 
see. You can get... Oh, interesting. They, they actually split the, like the kit out by keyboard. Very interesting. So the 6X, I'm assuming, is a... I, I think that's a KBD fans board. I'm not quite sure. And 63 and 64 are probably the number of keys that you have. And then of course there's a 65% format right there. It's pretty cool. 75%, 80% which is a TKL. Is it standard TKL? Okay, it's mostly standard but it's got Sangin bottom row as well. Cool. Any split backspace? Nope, no. No split backspace for the TKL set. How about for the 65? 65 also does not have split backspace. Interesting. Huh. None of the 60s have split backspace either. Okay. All right. What kit do you have to buy if you want split backspace? 18, 1800 mini? Really? This is such a rare layout, but they decided to make a kit for it? Interesting. Okay, 90%. 90% still has no split backspace. I guess you could do the any key. Maybe. Lamp kit. Okay, that's just novelties right there. Num kit and 6U space kit. Interesting. This kit does not support split backspace. Interesting. <laughs> so if you're if you're an HHKB user or just want split backspace, you're you're you are out of luck. But here, let's take a look at some of their, their other renders here. Oh, there's only two renders. Interesting. Okay. The Iwanu says, probably the kitting is based on the boards they are selling. Probably. Unifobia says, terrible oversight. I, I would agree with that. Like, I'm, I'm surprised that they completely skipped out on like HHKB. But yet they did Sangin, you know? So who knows? Who knows? So, so much compatibility, but not but I feel like they missed out on some of the more common ones. Oh well, this one ends on December 15th. Apparently the group buy started on November 27th. And let's see, anything, any other information about shipping times here? Uh, oh yeah, this is a PBT, PBT keycap set. And we'll be, oh, there we go. May 2021, that's not bad actually. So that's roughly what five months away yeah five five months away homie zone says i wish they just did the full kit style like their past group buys i feel like they tried to make it like friendlier to people who are new to the community because like if, if you go on any discord server you know and some someone new to the community shows up asking about key sets the most common question is they'll post up a key set and then they'll then they'll ask hey does this fit the keyboard that i want and then if if like no one teaches them how to look look at a key set and and identify sizes they'll take another key set post it up will this fit Will this fit? Will this fit? Will this fit? The way that this is organized, I think, is to is to help that situation. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, if you guys are interested in this, definitely check this out before the 15th. There we go. Strike and says in a group buy is everyone guaranteed an item or do they just refund if they're a bit off more they bit off more than they could chew? Um, a, a group buy typically, like, group buys have certain MOQs, which stands for a minimum order quantity. So as long as that is met, everyone who has joined in on the group buy will receive 
what they ordered. Unless, of course, it's a scam. Which, which has happened in the community. <laughs> See. Oh yeah. Let's see what's what's next here. What is next here? Here we go. A couple more sets on drop. Old Smurf says hello, Merlin. Hello to you too. Here we go. This next set is MT3 jukebox. Here we go. SA jukebox was actually one of my favorite essay sets that like came out. I don't like SA anymore, but I still like how it looks. And I think SA Jukebox is definitely one of the more beautiful SA sets that I've ever seen. So the base kit, it's 110 bucks, and the ortho kit is 65 bucks. Judging just from these, I think these are, are these renders or actual pictures? I think these are actual pictures. But just looking at the, at the colors here, this is not as beautiful as the original SA Jukebox. Right there, here, let's, let's take a look at all of these starting from the beginning. Here we go. Yeah, this, this green is not the same shade of green. There we go. Would I rather have GMK Serica or MT3 Serica? I'd rather have GMK Serica. I've discovered that MT3 doesn't really fit well with me. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah, some of the legending for MT3 still still isn't very consistent or sharp, and I think it's I think it's maybe because it's just the die sub process that they have. But for example, right here, this caps lock. See if I can find a better picture here. Where's that caps lock key? Oh, actually, wait. This is a good example here. If you look at the B key here, it's not, it's not properly aligned. It's tilted to the left a little bit. Right here. Let's let's see if we can find that caps lock again. Is there is there's no close up of the caps lock key. Because what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing just, just, just from here, the S and the L look hella blurry. <laughs> and they look way too close, way too close. January said they could have done a better job with the kit picture. Yeah, I know. There we go. So yeah, this this kit ends on December 15th. Let's see, when is it expiring? Oh, actually, this is not PBT. This is this is ABS and it's double shot. It's double shot and the legends are still blurry. What the heck? Wow. That's terrible. <laughs> that's that's really terrible then. Wow. Okay, uh my my confidence in MT3 manufacturing has just gone way down. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Definitely not buying this. <laughs> Let's see, when is this supposed to be delivered? Um, expect a estimated ship date. What? Ship date is December 15th? No way. Oh, it's in stock. No wonder. There we go. There we go. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay, here we go. Strike and how are they blurry? So here here's the thing. If this is your if this is your your only frame of reference, then these may look sharp, but if you compare them to something good like GMK, you'll see that this this kind of legending is absolutely horrible. Like I was ready to like forgive this and say like, oh, it's because it's PBT die sub. And in fact, I did say that earlier. But once I saw that that like that like it it, it was ABS double shot, I was like, what? No way! No way! <laughs> Juggle Life says photos could be a prototype. 
could be a prototype, but even as a prototype, that's that's pretty bad. That means, okay, if this was a prototype, this means that they screwed up every single one of their molds. And if they're consistent at screwing up that much, um, I would be very hesitant to actually buy a production sample. Yeah, but this is just, this is just terrible. Like if you look closely, you can see the F7 right here. That one's not aligned as well. It's a little bit tilted. Let's see, any other keys I can identify? Um, I mentioned the B earlier. What else? The Z as well. Yeah, the semicolon and the double quotes look very blurry to me as well, but I'm not sure if that's because of the image or if that's the, like, like the actual keycaps. Very interesting. Yeah, but yeah, this is just, wow, that, that really caught me by surprise. <laughs> I thought that, that like it, it, it was PBT Dysa, but nope. This is double shot ABS, and that's just that's just really bad to me. Anyway, if you guys are interested, make sure you click that link before December fifteenth. Kevin Lau says, "What guitar is that in the back? That is a Stra It's a Fender Stratocaster from the American Road Worn series. I think that's." I think I got it back in 2005, 2006, somewhere during, during that time period. Let's see, next set is also on drop. Next set is also on drop here. This is a drop MT3 Ca Camilo keycap set. There we go. This is another MT3 profile kit. Oh, that's... It's funny how they call this Camillo, because when I first looked at this, it almost looked like a bootleg Olivetti. <laughs> bootleg Olivetti with horrible legends. And yeah, this looks to be the same type of double shot process that that was with the jukebox here. Let, let me just check these specs. Here we go, ABS plastic, double shot keycaps. Yeah. It's the same, same type of stuff here. Same type of stuff. Let's see, how much is this anyway? 110 for the base kit, 65 for the, for the ortho kit, okay. There we go, let's go look at more of these photos. Mm -hmm. That's the ortho linear. That's the entire base kit. Wow, look at that ISO key. It looks like it's cut off. I don't know if this is just like a bad image, but look at where that N is. It's super close to the edge of the keycap. <laughs> Croissant says, what do you think of KP Republic keycaps? I do not own any of those. And I don't, don't remember what they look like. Dr. Killswitch says GMK and Infinity keycaps are the best. I'm still waiting for my Infinity key keycaps, so we shall see when those arrive. Huh. Oh, hold on. Let's look at this. See, that caps lock actually looks fairly decent. Not like the jukebox one. Interesting. But here, check this out. Look at the T here. So like the thickness of each letter in, in tab, T-A-B, is a lot thicker than, this, than any of the caps lock letters. Can you guys see that? 
T-A-B looks like it's in bold, whereas caps locks looks like a regular font. Why so Max says, tab looks huge. Yeah, I know, right? See that? And even shift, okay. If you, if you guys look at the shift key right here, each of those letters is thicker than the alt key. So tab is thicker than shift and shift is thicker than alt. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so much inconsistency. Someone, someone is drilling something upstairs. I can hear their drill going. <laughs> Striken says, I never studied my set like that before. Well, yeah, that's, that's the thing. You know, like over time, once you buy enough key sets, you tend to notice like differences between one manufacturer from another. Here you go, look at this S key right here, guys. It almost looks like the S is upside down, but yet when you look at the profile, it's the correct profile. <laughs> but all right, that is enough harping on Double Shot MT3. <laughs> if you guys are interested in the set, this is also another in-stock kit that ships on December 15th. <laughs> Here we go. And that is all the key sets that are ending this week. Kevin Lau says, is GMK your favorite set maker? Um, I, I like both SP and GMK. Cherry is my current favorite profile, but I also like, oh my gosh. What are they doing upstairs? <laughs> so I like Cherry profile and I like DSA profile and XDA. In terms of high profiles, the only high profile profile that I like is Cat. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this, click that link. Apparently it ships on December 15th. Here, here we go. Estimated ship date is December 15th. So yeah, buy it if you want something in time for Christmas. And yeah, that's that's all the key sets that I know of that are expiring this week. So just as a quick recap, that's here. That's not the right one. GMK Think Caps, GMK Amethyst, GMK Yuri, GMK Pixel, MDA Dawn or Ember Dawn, MT3 Jukebox and MT3 Camilo. Out of these key sets, which ones are you guys most interested in? Out of these, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of these seven key sets, which ones are you guys most interested in joining? Kevin Lau says, don't want any of them. Elra says, I keep coming back to Amethyst. Yeah, that's a good one. Berugi says, Camillo. Hawk says, Amethyst. Amethyst. King Friday says, Think Caps. Camillo looks cool, but not with the floss. Yeah, for a $110 key set, that's kind of, that sucks. Sucks big time, actually. Scott Water says, saving money. Old, Old Smurf says, none. Dr. Kiel says, says zero. Hawk bought light amethyst. Amethyst tonight says why so? Zaki says should I buy pixel caps or nah? So close to buying. Um, I I would not buy pixel caps. Think caps, but think caps is still too plain for me. Tofi already got their set of GMK amethyst. Cool, cool, cool. So it's looking like amethyst is a popular key set this week based on what my audience is saying. Kevin Lau says, waiting for a PBT triangle. Jug Life says, Amethyst if I had to pick one, but might save to get the 8,082. That's true. Let's see. Saving to get MT3 2048 extended, says Kevin Malone. Cool, cool, cool. 
All right, well, that is all the key sets that are expiring. And we actually only have one keyboard that is expiring. It actually just started, but I guess, you know, it's like a limited group buy. Here we go. This one is the E7 V2, another keyboard that I talked about in my interest in, in my five interest checks videos. There we go. This is a 75% keyboard. Let me adjust my There we go. That's that's much better. So we can see this entire screen. Here we go. This is the E7 V2 75% keyboard with exploded away arrow keys, rightmost column. Function row is split out as well and it's split up from the escape and in and in sets of four. Um, what else do I remember about this? You have RGB lights on the top here and it's got center mount USB-C, it's got a weight and it's also got ESD protection. Let's see. If I remember correctly, what I said in my video was that I did not like how this weight was was designed. I thought it was a little too tacky for me. <laughs> and I still think the same way. <laughs> Here, here we go. Let's look at all these specs here. Yep, PCB supports QMK and BIA. Good, good, good. Um, it's also a gasket mount keyboard. Let's see, XK's, XKA says there are 376 units left. That's good, that's good. And apparently the price is 435 bucks. First come, first serve for 999 units. <laughs> For the full full alu base kit, if you want the PC kit, it's 435 as well. And I think the raffle units are already all gone, but it, it was 540 for them. But yeah, they are estimating a lead time of six months, but depends on how many are sold. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, it's like I think it looks nice. But I, I really don't like their logo here. Let's see, let's look at a couple more of these pictures. PC units are sold out. Of course they are. P PC always sells out. Look at that. Ooh, camping. GM key camping looks really good on this. King Friday says, logo too gamer looking. I can agree with that. Oh, look, it's 8008. There we go. Very cool. Why do they use Comic Sans on his keyboard? So tacky. I have no clue. Maybe he thinks Comic Sans is, is, a, is a good font. <laughs> Mark C14 says, I'll pass on this, saving for the Vanquish 65. Very cool. I think it's a good looking board overall, to be honest. And today is the last day to buy it, with apparently a little over 300 units still available. Like, I actually thought about buying this. I thought long and hard. But the, but the thing that's stopping me from doing it is I also found out about another keyboard that's starting. And the weight just really bothers me. The weight absolutely bothers me. Like, I know I'm never gonna see this when I'm like typing, but just knowing that it's there is going to bother me. <laughs> see, Patrick is saving up for the oceanographer. Yes, the oceanographer. Elra needs a 75 and was super on the fence about it. XKHS, same material as the PCB. Oh, he's he's replying. June says, it's the keyboard you're waiting on, also a 75. You'll find out in just a bit. Kevin Lau says, I agree, I don't like the weight too. King Friday says, another sea animal themed keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. 
Anyway, if you guys are interested, definitely check this out, but you really only have a few hours left. <laughs> see, Nasty Nader says, picked up the E white E7. Very nice, very nice. All right, not bad. We're almost an hour in and we're just entering starting group ice. Here it goes. So everything that I talk about here at starting group eyes, it's not going to be a vendor link. It's going to be a geek hack or Reddit link. Just because none of this has gone live quite yet. So with that, let's talk about the first item. This one is starting on Tuesday, December 15th. This is GMK Hopefully I can pronounce this correctly. Avangardia. GMK Avangardia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct. But right, here we go. Everything's Pantone except for a GMK stock color of WS1. And apparently it is inspired by this. Or at least the novelties are inspired by this painting. <laughs> here we go. This is what the kit looks like. Base kit. Another purplish kit that I have trouble seeing. <laughs> Some novelties right here. Juan Fanta says Avangardia, me likey. There we go. We have an alternate Alphas kit right here. 40s kit. Space Bars kit. See, dust mats. Uh, dust mats actually look pretty good. I still don't understand it, but it looks cool. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> See, ooh, the white one looks better. I think if I had to choose between the two, I would pick the white one. Here go. Oh, here we go. Keyboard renders. Mm. I'm gonna say that I'm not a fan of the key set colors itself, but I do like the dust mats. Why is this rendered on a green board? I think it looks ugly on a, on a green board. <laughs> the raspberry doesn't like the purple row. I agree with you. That purple row seems so, so out of place. Oh, interesting. That actually looks good on a split keyboard, especially when you pair it with the right colored spacebar. That that actually looks pretty good. But when it's like this, that that just looks weird. Yeah, that just looks weird. But on a on a split board like that, that that looks good. Here we go. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. With the alternate alphas, it starts to look better, but that that purple roll still looks so weird to me. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Do they have a split board with the white alphas? Oh, cool. It's a molly. Hmm. I think, I think it only looks good here because it's a molly. <laughs> Not because the key set looks good, but because the keyboard makes the key set look good. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Huh, okay, okay. If you put it on a TKL, that, so something that's got a function row on it, it starts to look better. It starts to look better. But when the topmost row is purple like that, it doesn't look good. But if it's if, if it's like framed this way, then it starts to look good. It starts to look good. What is this? This 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 looks so odd. <laughs> XKH says the set only looks good on an Alice layout. I would agree with you on that. 
And wow, they're selling t-shirts. Okay. This might be the first key set group buy I've seen that is pairing t-shirts with it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Anyway, if you guys are interested in this, key set's supposed to go live on December 15th. Read up more on the Geek Hack link that I just posted. Go next up. Next up is another GMK set. Here we go. This is GMK Stealth launching on December 16th. Check it out. Look at that. I think this set actually looks pretty good. Like normally I'm not a fan of just all black sets. But the way this is done looks really good. Let's see, what's this? This one's with different colored alphas. I don't think this, this looks all that great. Oh, so this is base, this is blackout. What? I wish base would have included blackout so you didn't need to buy a separate kit. Because right now, okay, to me, to, to like my eyes, the blackout option is the better looking option. This one, this one doesn't look pretty to me at all. So that's just really weird. That's just really weird. There we go. Novelties. Remove before flight. Eject, eject. Extension, okay. Extensions, Nord UK, numpad, space bars, dust mats. Let's go look at these dust mats. Mm. It's not really compelling. Mm, hard to see and you, you guys know how I feel about designs in like the center. There we go. HUD. HUD looks so plain, but also looks pretty good. <laughs> Hawk says, I would buy if Blackout was base, but now, now I won't. Yeah, that's that's true. Okay. So, let's go look at this. Kidding, right? Kidding. This base kit is only, let's see, standard layouts up to a TKL. So based on other examples we've seen, this is like, if, if this was being sold on Dixie Mac, this would be like a $110 kit. Let's see, let's go look at Think Caps, see? Think Caps was 110, right? So assuming it's gonna be the same, that would be 110, right? And alternate alphas are usually around 50. So if you wanted to go for the blackout look, that's 160 bucks or more. You know? Uh, hmm. Not sure if that was a good choice on their part. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Let's see, but no ISO on base. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. Any more information? Here we go. Let's see. Two RAL colors and one GMK stock color, CR. Let's go look at a couple more vendors here. Yeah, that, that base kit just doesn't look good at all to me. Nope, nope. Let's look at the Iron 180. Nope. 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 I'm trying to find one that I like and I still haven't seen one yet. Okay, okay, this one, Polycarb. Polycarb with the regular base kit looks good. Let's see. Yeah, this one actually looks good on like a Polycarb case. Not bad, not bad. Raspberry says, will the alphas come included if you buy the base set? Um, only what's depicted on the base set will be will be sold in the base set. 
If you want the black out, you will need to buy two kits. Alice makes so many sets look okay. <laughs> here we go, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Black out, there we go. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. If you're looking for an all black board, dang. No, this is the Evolve ras Raspberry. The Evolve 75 posters, interesting. They made the lighting dark, which deters a ton of people. The collaborations with the Rama work set. Cool, cool. And of course, cables. Interesting, interesting. The blackout just looks like GMK Dark. That's true. See, vendors are for Project Keyboard, Candy Key, Switch Keys, Desk Hero, Z Frontier, and Mono K. But pricing has not been determined quite yet. Um, hopefully they figure that out before the 16th. But here, let's go look at that top board again. This one is really eye-catching. Check it out. <laughs> it almost looks like the legends are translucent almost looks like that anyway if you guys are interested in, in this set and want to know more click on that link but this set is supposed to go live on december 16th here we go next up hopefully i get this right next up is an sa set oh i guess that doesn't Ah, there. Let's try and fix that link. Let me fix that link, guys. Hold on. There we go. That's a better link. There we go. That's a better link right here. This is SA Recall. Here we go. Welcome to the interest check. Yada yada yada. Manufacturer signature plastics uses four Pantone colors and what is that? NN. Assume that's a signature plastics color. And this is what the kit is supposed to look like. Kind of like a hodgepodge of different colors mashed together. Um, what what is his inspiration here? Let's see. What is the inspiration? Here we go. Click more, here we go. The smell and feel of hot vinyl seats. Our childhood was filled with these memories thanks to a relatively crummy car, the Ford Pinto station wagon. Okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, so I know I, I, I like asked this to the chat a couple months ago or so, but the question that I asked was, okay, do you guys prefer the color of a key set more or the theme more? And overwhelmingly, a majority of people said they prefer the color more and don't really care about the theme. This seems like a key set where the theme was very, very important. So yeah, this is... I'm not sure how I feel about this, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, I like how he really, really adhered to his theme here. But, but I don't think the set looks really pretty. I think it's, it's, it's just too much. It's just too much for me. See, you like it, Sass. It's a key set for old people, which I am one. <laughs> okay, so the desk mat looks, looks pretty good. I'll give it that. De desk mat looks good, but I can't, I can't envision this on a keyboard. Like, like. This is the Iron 180 right here, and it just... It doesn't look pretty. It just doesn't look pretty to me. Maybe if I stare at it long enough, it will start to look good, but... Nope. 
Hmm. No. I just can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> Okay. I think it would look better if if it did something like SA1976 in which it's all, which the colors were like a gradient that went from your left to the right. I think that would look better if you did it like that. Doing it like this seems really off-putting to be honest. Huh. Yeah, that's just not... That just doesn't work work for me at all. <clears throat> Let's see, who is this selling through? This is selling through Novel Keys, My Keyboard, Daily Clack, Desk Hero, and Z Frontier. Starting on the 18th. And it's running all the way till January 16th. Man. Okay, so number one, I'm not a big fan of the SA profile, and number two, I'm not a big fan of this colorway. So I'm just, I'm just very confused about it. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested in this, read up more about the story, contribute to the conversation. Here we go. All right, those are the only key sets that are starting this week. So once again, that's GMK Avant Guardia, GMK Stealth, and SA Recall. Out of these three, what is the audience most interested in? Skunk Sass. Oh, just the Lego, all of that together. Interesting. Kyoto Keyboard says Stealth. Belt. Sumex says none for, for me. Clyback says SA Recall. Avangardia. Rough week, none of them. Stealth, not gonna lie. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Recall. Hard pass on all of them, says Greedy Monk. <laughs> none, none, none. Stealth's blackout, none for me. Too poor, <laughs> says SVR. Yeah, like, I think to, to be able to participate in all the ending group buys every week, you need to have a, a disposable income specifically just for keyboards of at least 2k a week. <laughs> Raspberry said, I would, but I'm broke. Bazinga says, ending wallet. I think if I had to choose between these three, I would, if I absolutely had to choose one, I would go with GMK Stealth, but in reality, I probably wouldn't pick either of them, any of them. Let's see, SBR says, how much money on keycaps per month is reasonable? Uh, I don't know, but I typically buy a key set probably once a quarter. Raspberry says that JTK Knight Sakura just ended me. <laughs> I skipped out on that. Alright, let's see. We got two boards that are starting this week. The first one is one that I've been seeing for a while. But here we go. Ooh, oh, Oro Cool Redeemed Hydrate, thank you. But here we go, this is the Monster Gear Aluminum XO V3. This is an, OE, an, an OEM board that looks very much like a custom. <laughs> and is also priced like a custom. Check that out, 435 bucks. This one goes live on December 15th. Here we go, let's talk about what this is. 2.8 kilogram board. Let's see, what's that in freedom units? <laughs> 2.8 kilograms to pounds is 
6.17 pounds, there we go. Typing angle of nine degrees, that seems pretty high. Let's see, front height is 18.7. Weight, PVD coated brass at 700 grams. Plate is also brass. And the mounting style is top mount, interesting. It's solderable and hot swap. QMK supported, interesting. PCB mount stabilizers, undergo LED, five pin hole, USB type C, yada, yada, yada. Possibly bands as the review unit that Teha got was janky. Can control LED with their own program. To map a key, you need to use QMK toolbox. Make hex file. Oh my God. Why are they still advertising kbfirmware.com? My gosh. Let's see, has, has it changed since I last saw it? Let me click. Let me click and find out. Nope, that is still the same KB firmware. So if, if any of you guys still don't know this, KB firmware was a tool that came out in 2017 to allow people to easily make firmware for their QMK powered board. And they had quite a few items here. And, and, and you could even make your own firmware by uploading a, a KLE. The problem is ever since 2017, they haven't updated it. So this is still running QMK firmware from 2017. And since 2017, we've had thousands, thousands of, of like commits, thousands of new PRs. It's just, it, it's just crazy. So they are way, way behind. So do not use KB firmware. KB Firmware's QMK version will be four years old next month. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but here we go. Let's go look at other photos. There's only three photos. Okay, and none of the back or of the sides. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, just looking at it from the top, it looks really chonky. Let's see. Hmm. It's hard. It's... It's just hard to tell. Yeah, this looks like a very simple, simple board. Let's see, how to assemble. Oh, there's a video, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Any other information? Oh, here we go. See, have I seen Nathan's build stream on this? No, I have not. I didn't even know that he built one of these. Not a fan of those corners. Oh, look, that's what the bottom looks like. There we go. Top mount, yep, top mount board. Oh, that's probably for the weight, those screws. There we go. Huh. Over cool says, have you seen the oceanographer? You should check out my five interest checks video in which I talk about it. I uploaded it on Friday, actually. Raspberry says, I like the plate. The color is nice. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, there we go. More pictures right there. Mm. Interesting. I've never actually seen a Monster Gear board in person. But that back actually looks really good. I say the the back of this board is a lot more it's a lot more aesthetically appealing than the front of the board. Like these curves right here, they just look weird. This kind of reminds me of like some of the boards that but like Gray Studio does, but it's like they're trying to copy Gray Studio, but they're not doing a good job. <laughs> Sumex has the back looks like an, an X-Men logo. Huh. Oh wow. Look, look at that shipping box. Lots of foam. Keyboard and parts will be sent as picture above. 
Okay. Oh, it comes with the brush. <laughs> what? Okay. Housing, PCB, weight, plastic keyboard, dust cover, dust cleaning brush, switch and keycap puller, sticker, type C, USB cable. Cool, there'll be 25 white, white units. Interesting, oh, look at that. Layout, layout support. Looks like you can't do split backspace. Interesting. But you can do split space. You can do Sangin as well. You can you can't do split right shift. But you can do split left shift. That's that's odd. That's very odd. Normally people split the right shift unless you're doing ISO. Hmm. Here we go, layout for hot swap PCB. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, if you guys are interested in this board, this board goes live on the 15th. Here we go. Hey, Xenophobia says, one, 1 1.25 split left shift, what? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's weird, 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 weird. There we go. Shipping in order. You can you can mail them directly. Cool, cool, cool. All right, last board, last board that is starting this week is a board I found out about today, and this is the board that made me second guess buying an E7 V2. Here we go. This is. The Whale 75 from Lin. Here we go. Let's actually look at the at the sample protos right here. Check it out. I have the lap of a fairy tale giant. Oh really? There you go. See, it's got indicator LEDs by your escape key. It's got separated out arrow keys, rightmost column, and an option for a rotary knob. But what really caught my eye about this, what really caught my eye on this, is that in the specs that I was given, it's using a an ARM microcontroller, and it's got ESD protection, it's got USB-C, and it's a top mount. Like, versus the E7 V2, the gasket mount is definitely preferred, but, you know, the fact that it's using like an ARM microcontroller and it's got ESD protection and a rotary knob, I'm like, this is the board that I would buy over the E7 V2. Right, and and, and these, these are the prototype units. See, let's look at some of the renders here. Look at that. Yeah, that just looks really beautiful. Sandwich mount. Yes, yeah, sorry. It's sandwich mount. Look at that. Yeah, see? Compared with the E7 V2, this is this is a much more acceptable weight. Like, keep in mind it's just your regular Rect rectangle weight, nothing too fancy there, but I think over the really tacky E7 V2 weight with like the Comic Sans print, I would prefer this. Yeah, look at this side profile right here. This one just looks really neat. Much prettier looking. A very pretty looking board. Very, very pretty. Let's see, let's go read a little bit more on his Reddit post. Yep, he's got a Discord link. Typing angle is nine degrees. Weight is two kilograms. What was two kilograms again? I know that's less than, less than six pounds. Two, two kilograms is 4.4 .4 pounds. 
very cool. Mounting method sandwich, there we go. Color offering, silver, black, burgundy, military red, green, and lavender purple. Group by date starting December 19th, and it's only one day. Cool, cool, cool. GB period, we'll announce later after we get the final order quantity. Okay, okay. The price is more expensive than the E7 B2 at 550 US dollars. The top case layout, two layouts. You have a knob type or an F13 type. What they mean by F13 type is you have an extra function key right there. PCB is QMK and VIA compatible. Please check more detailed specifications below. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see, layouts. Let's go look at the layouts. Layouts available are... Okay, you've got your 6.25U spacebar with the two 1.5U keys right there. And ISO support. Cool, cool, cool. Little render of the PCB. Nice. Let's see, anything else here? Yeah, we were looking at the renders in Proto already. Artisan pictures, okay. Greedy Monk says it's also 100 more than the E7. That's true. I, I do personally think that it's a better board than, than the E7. So $100 is a justifiable expense. <laughs> Elra, Elra says and no hot swap it looks like. Yeah, there is no hot swap. Greedy Monk says, I trust Exclusive Anno versus Lin. That's true. Exclusive's Anno has, has has been pretty good. King Friday says, I would have preferred top mount. Mm-hmm. Tofuki says, can anybody tell me what boards we have covered so far? Well, we've covered quite a few actually. In terms of the starting, we've only covered two. There are only two boards that I know of that are starting this week. That's the Monster Gear and, and this. Kyoto Keyboard says, what's your daily driver? Uh, my daily driver changes quite frequently, but today I'm using a customer's board. This is the Space 65. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, if you guys want to read any more information on this board, please click that link. Here, let's find, find another photo right there. There we go. All right, those are the only stuff that I found so far. We would like, we, we're now transitioning to group buys from the audience. So as I explained earlier, there is no way, there is absolutely no way that I have the time to find every single group buy that is happening in, 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 in like even this one week time period. So this is where I ask you guys, the audience, to just help me out here. Um, if there's any group buy that I have missed, please send me information. Um, please include a link to it, some context as to what I should be looking at. I do not want to read through an entire group buy post to find information, okay? Please send me start and end dates and anything in particular to pay attention to. And please, please, please try and keep the, what do you call this, try and keep this this information within this time period and by time period i mean anything that's starting or ending from tonight december 13th all the way till saturday december 19th okay so um you know if, if you do send stuff that happens the week before i'll if, if i haven't talked about it i'll consider it but let's try and keep it within this one week time period and let's see how many will i do tonight i think i I try to do all of them, but we'll see. We're already going a little over time here, so I will, I'll try and do at least four. Let's do that. Let's do that. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna keep sipping on my tea here. The Hawk says, no Comic Sans on Whale. Yeah, for sure. Iwanu says, Merlin, do you consider board extras as well for this stream? 
For you, why not? <laughs> June says, also comes with artisans if you win the raffle. Yep, Zen Gazer says, grid 650. Yeah, send, send me all that information. Arbacool says, prime release extra, still have a bunch available for anyone that's interested. Oh, oh, hello. Here, while I'm waiting for people to send me stuff, let me, let me pull the cat out. Come here. Hello, this is the cat. This is sushi. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Ah. <laughs> this is sushi. She was, she's about four months old. Still a baby cat. She's a Sy Siberian forest cat. Where are you going? Where do, where do you want to go? So my wife has this sweater that has like a pouch and she's been sitting in that pouch. <laughs> Let's see. What are people saying? Love space squids. That's so cute. So furry. What is the wizard's broom in the background? It is a staff. Raspberry says so cute. GMK sushi group by one. <laughs> GMK Moss group by when Xenophobia says Mark Merlin has she laid down to snooze on any of your keyboards yet? No, she does not, but she does like to sleep on my stomach at night. Let's see. Alvaro says, man, now I can't decide between Skog, E7, and the whale. Tough month for my wallet. Sark says, should we do a staff party? Not tonight. Let's see, here we go. I am, I am receiving some messages. Here we go. This is from, this is from Sumex. This is the KVD fans and BIP collaborations. The Gasket Boop 65% keyboard. Check it out. For 323 bucks, you get something that looks like this. Uh, see, how, do, how do I close this? There we go. Here we go. Color options, you have the option for E-white, E-yellow, all of the typical KBD fans options. We got rubber pads. Let's see what, what goes in here. Center mount USB-C, top case, gaskets, middle foam, you got a hot swap PCB, bottom foam, Rubber pads, brass weight, interesting. The solderable PCB. The solderable PCB only has... Okay. The only things you can really change is ISO and split backspace. Okay. And the hot swap PCB is just ANSI. Okay. That's fine. Let's see, any more pictures of this? What what PCB is this running? Like, is this a... I wonder if this is a KBD fans PCB. King Friday says, does your Skog whine? Not that I have heard. Oh, look at that. Interesting. This one, according to Sumax, is starting on December 15th. From the top down, it looks it looks really pretty, to be honest. Like I like I like these curves on the side here. Looks pretty good. It it, it looks like it's gonna be really easy to like pick up. Zoo says, "Do I have per key RGB turned on on my Skog? Yes, I do." But typically. From what I've heard, if it's if you're experiencing wine on it, then the tantalum capacitor probably doesn't have the correct value. So if you took another tantalum capacitor and soldered it on, it could potentially potentially fix that wine. You just have to isolate which tantalum capacitor that you need to put it on. Here we go. That's what the weight looks like. The boop. <laughs> it's so creative, I like it. 
let's see. Huh, interesting. This um, stepped design here, this almost looks like... This kind of reminds me of sandwich boards, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, this kind of looks like, you know, some s someone taking like an acrylic layered sandwich board and just stacking it like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see, here we go. You got black, purple, blue, yellow, gray, rose gold, all that good stuff. Cool. So one thing I haven't seen yet is any information on the PCB. Let's see. Page search, PCB. Uh, six results. What? But I'm not finding it. Let's see. I know of no 65% board on KBD fans that has a center mount USB-C built on. Though this could potentially be a brand new PCB from KBD fans. Hmm. Anyway, if you guys want to find out more information, definitely check that out. King Friday says, or you could just flip the flux capacitor. There is no flux capacitor on this board, unfortunately. You, you, you cannot time travel with it. But if you are experiencing issues on your SCOG reboot, send me a message after the stream and I can perhaps point out which which capacitor you need to solder on. <laughs> All right, who else messaged me today? This one is from Tofu Keys. This is the Polarity Works Rotor Macro Pad right here. It's got this giant encoder and three keys. <laughs> Look at that. This one is a what is this? 120 pounds. 120 pounds to 186? What makes it 186? Is it the brass knob that's making it 186? No way. Holy cow! Yeah, it is. How about copper? Oh, it's the copper knob that makes it 186. Wow. Uh, I'm going to say this is very aesthetically pleasing, but 186 for this? This is that's that's too much. It's too much. It's too much money. Let's see. Let's look at it. Looks like it's hot swap. Three hot swap keys. You can blow on the knob and it will turn. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 a little too much money for a macro pad like this. It 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 does look cool. Forty in stock. Wow. Dang. Okay. So if you wanted to just do like the regular aluminum one, it's 168 bucks. My gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if this is worth it. <laughs> Xenophobia says this is arguably more overpriced than the paw. Yeah, that's true. Like the paw was what, 150 bucks? Actually, I value the, the copper or the brass knob more than I do the Bluetooth functionality and the polycarb nature of the paw. So I'd say, I'd say this one isn't as expensive as the paw for what you get. Rock Luz, sorry I already finished drinking my tea here. I don't really have much else to drink here. See, jo Joseph says I'd rather have this than the paw. I totally agree with you on that. GMK key. Here we go. Let's 
There we go. Designed by Krellbit. Okay. No, this is a GMK set. This is... That can't be triple shot. This is probably like their... Their UV pad pinching process. Interesting. Interesting. Tree. Oh, I was right. This is the UV printing. Interesting. Okay. Um. Let's see. According to Joseph, this starts mid December and ends at 130 base kits. Wow. Okay. That's a very limited group buy. Kyoto keyboard subscribed with Prime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. I think the colors are a little bit too simplistic to me. It almost looks like a PBT set, to be honest. Like, the colors remind me of PBT. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But here, let's go look at some, some of these renders on his, on his slip line. Interesting. See, what's the pricing on this? What is the pricing for a base kit? Here, has, has he released any pricing? No, he has not. Okay, but it looks like all the colors are are standard GMK colors, L9, U9, and BR1. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I think I'd sit out on this. This isn't a colorway that I like. GMK key. All right, if you guys are interested in this, check it out. Apparently starting mid-December, Joseph didn't give me an exact date, but mid-December is, is this week, so, you know, it could happen anytime this week. Let's see, here we go. Moon Operator sent me something else here. But yeah, I'm not seeing anyone else send me information, so I think this is a good time to end the stream. Here we go. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, this particular segment will be uploaded on YouTube this coming Tuesday. Hopefully all of the links that I've posted here will still be relevant. If not, I will try my best to update them all. Unfortunately, sometimes some of these links will already be expired. Group by will already be ended by the time Tuesday comes, so sorry for that. Anyway, my next stream will be this coming Tuesday. I'll be doing a little bit of QMK porting for another keyboard. Um, tune in Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. if you want to find out what that is. All right, guys. Hope you have a good rest of your evening and a great start to your week. And I'll catch you next time. See you guys.